Well, at first it was uh, uh, tense. If I don't like I'm here, I'm gonna walk away. Like. Not, not to be shitty, but like I don't want to play music I'm not enjoying. When I would hear these demos, whenever I would hear a demo that was lighthearted, I'd be like, hate it. I hate going in with a box around me. Like, all right, here are your parameters right within that. Like, I can't do that. Well, okay, so when we did this record, it, it was different because the band was kind of divided a little bit. Some of us wanted to go to do this sound, some of us wanted to do that sound. And when Cody and Dan were writing songs, it was a little bit different hearing it because we weren't entirely sure how we felt about the songs at that time. It'd be nice to have everyone's point of view. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet um, with the whole band and we're just gonna talk. The moody tones, I feel like a lot of the songs are not necessarily magical. We should talk about that bit. Yeah, lyrically is the is the biggest thing that changes and keeps the mood alive. But if if I'm being honest, we're kind of in two different mental spaces. Yeah, it's time to talk about it. Like I know you guys are afraid because if we don't go straight back to the roots, so super aggressive, guitar driven, drum driven, eerie, without being too spooky, then we're fucked. Am I wrong in thinking that? In my mind at the time, I was like, no, this this is this is right. I have a good opinion. And, and none of these songs need to be on the record. It needs to be aggressive and rock and dark and angry and sad only. What, what elements do you think need to be present? It's like a stronger guitar driven thing or a stronger organic instrument. Okay. And I, I feel like a lot of the songs feel a lot more pop than rock. So in your mind, you think we should avoid pop all again? That's all I say. I'm asking you. Yeah. I'm asking you. How those songs are structured as pop songs but make them sound like a rock song. I think uh, there's a lot of, not, I don't say unrealistic expectations, but not being in the room, some things are hard to kind of uh, translate. I think that they're great songs and they're awesome. I, I'm just afraid that what we're trying to do for in this, with this new vibe, isn't necessarily matching up with those songs. And maybe, it does it in the wrong way, but I'm just curious on why you guys haven't written one of those songs, just to get us to barely oh. even shut up. I can't go right in a box, because I'm gonna write you a shitty song. There has been times in this record where uh, where I've been feeling like I've been told how I should be working, and I don't respond well to that, because I know what I'm good at. I personally felt Cone Mirror is a very close element to what Fitchy's called. It has it. Oh, yeah. so, but you, you said you haven't, you haven't brought that song. What? You said we haven't brought that song. So why would we do it once to make you shut up? Okay, I'm sorry that I said it that way. That, that was a garage band demo that he can't sort of sing or something and it turned into that. Everyone fights. It's not all the chaos, don't get me wrong, but your favorite band fights. But I think we're better now at being able to communicate because before when we were younger we'd get heated and we'd just argue. But now we can like talk things out and do do we still, is there still tension? Fuck yeah, there's still tension. You have tension because you want it to be perfect. The fact that like it's still a mixing, like I really wish I had an answer for some of the things you were saying because they're there and like I'm, I'm playing these parts and they're just not translating. And maybe at the moment, it may not align, but I, I always believe in trusting the process. Give it time, give it a second. Maybe it doesn't sound great right now, but wait until the mix is out there, wait until the idea is fully cultivated and, and it'll, it will make sense. We talk a lot about wanting to make records for fans and wanting to make records for us as well. Yeah. And this is a completely selfish thing yeah. on my end, but I don't really play drums on any of, on like a lot of Upside Down songs, and for half of the set, I am sitting with my feet up on the drum yeah. so like, it like took some of the joy out of playing live, Dude, and I miss so being a rock band. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm legitimately stressed yeah. about like, uh, losing what makes set it up set As it's coming together, for better or for worse, I'm more attached to it than any other record. And because of that, I sometimes think that I fight too hard. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about me. It's about all of us, and it has to connect to every single one of us. All the, the members of the band and the fans as well. And so I can't just take my experience and go, this is what it's going to be. I, I, am, I am scared of people saying, oh, this is too many drums in it. Fuck them. <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> like the whole cymbal thing. Like just the... Oh, dude, don't overthink that, honestly. If it helps the song, then do it. I want you to know, first of all, that I there's been times where like if I physically hear it, I'm like, there needs to be open hatch when he crashes here, like, let's fucking do it. And yesterday when I was with Brandon, we were coming up with like drum beats that were more intricate for the post. Like, that's why I got excited and I got excited for you. So what about this? One, two, da 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 da. Okay. 
Yeah. Money. Yeah. Cody. Yeah. I see. Cody I the my, drum guy. I got to bring my drum chops back. <laughs> the Learning to understand that people may not understand the full process of how things may happen. Um, makes it easier. And just to make you guys feel a little bit better, Free Forever is a Dark Meyer song that we haven't gotten back. And it's a thing that you guys just aren't hearing shit back because I'm looking at the list, there's probably four happy song songs and the rest are Dark Meyer songs. As time went on, I started to realize like, okay, it can have both, you know? Just because I'm feeling a certain way doesn't mean that those feelings don't exist. That was a big, a big turning point for me. I think initially there was a bit of fear, but there's, dude, there's naturally gonna be fear. Like, especially with this record, like we fully felt like we took our first step backwards after we released Upside Down because it wasn't the same response as Duality. You know, like we weren't marketed as heavily. We weren't in magazines as heavily and it sucked. You know, it, so this is the first time we've ever felt like nervous because we're like, all right, well, if this doesn't kick, then what, you know? Trust, it's, that's the only way, the only way to do it. Just really emphasizing and just saying, I fully believe in it. And just like anybody else, I feel like everybody deserves a chance and we're very good about giving each other that space. Now I definitely feel like it's the, some of the strongest stuff we've ever done. And I think that my expectations are that fans are going to love it. I think the next struggle is going to be making sure that we work as hard as we can so that we can come see as many people as we can on tour and show that we appreciate the support that they give us so that we're able to go out and do those things. Travel the world, uh, live in Los Angeles. I live right next to the fucking Hollywood sign. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's right there. You go outside and boom. people. On like daily, you'll see if you open this window, they're like trying to pose for a photo with the fucking Hollywood sign. Like, and I've lived here for like four months, I'm like tourist dude.